Imagine the year 1976. The Viking 1 lander touches down on the Martian surface, near the Mayavales flood channel. A significant moment in our history, as it marked the first successful mission to land a spacecraft on Mars and conduct a series of experiments. The aim? To discover evidence of a mega flood, a historical event that could unravel the mysteries of the Martian landscape and give us a glimpse into its past. But as the Viking 1 lander surveyed the Martian terrain, it was greeted with an unexpected sight. Instead of the anticipated signs of a mega flood, it found a landscape strewn with boulders, an intriguing discovery that had scientists scratching their heads. The Martian surface, it seemed, was a puzzle waiting to be solved. Fast forward a few decades, and the puzzle pieces began to fall into place. Researchers identified a 110-kilometer diameter impact crater named Pole, located northeast of the landing site. This suggested a marine impact likely formed the crater, potentially offering an explanation for the boulder-strewn surface. But the Martian surface held a secret, one that would only be uncovered many years later. Fast forward to today and researchers have identified a 110-kilometer diameter impact crater called Pole, located northeast of the original landing site. It's a name that's quickly gaining prominence in the scientific community and for a good reason. This unexpected discovery has provided a fresh perspective on our understanding of the Martian surface. It's believed that a marine impact likely formed the Pole Crater. Now, if you're wondering what a marine impact is, it's an impact that occurs in a body of water, resulting in a significant displacement of water. In the case of Mars, this would suggest the presence of an ancient ocean, a concept that stirs excitement among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Researchers have used simulations to generate impact-induced megatsunamis. These simulated tsunamis match the mapped older megatsunami deposits margins, further supporting the marine impact hypothesis. The simulations also predict tsunami fronts reaching the Viking 1 lander site, the same site where NASA's lander found a boulder-strewn surface back in 1976. It's a fascinating realization that hints at a time when Mars was possibly a much more dynamic and water-rich environment than it is today. This discovery also provides a new context for understanding the erosional grooves at the landing site, which were previously a source of much speculation. With the new evidence, these grooves can now be seen as supporting a megatsunami origin. The identification of the Pole Crater and the subsequent findings have opened up a new chapter in our understanding of Mars. It's a chapter that tells a story of ancient oceans, of marine impacts and megatsunamis, and of a Martian landscape that was significantly reshaped by these events. The Martian mystery deepens, suggesting an even more complex history of the Red Planet than initially thought. It's a reminder that even with our advanced technologies and persistent explorations, Mars continues to surprise us, offering new puzzles to solve and new stories to tell. Armed with this new information, scientists are now reevaluating the data gathered from the Viking 1 lander mission. Remember that boulder-strewn surface we talked about? It turns out the location of the Viking 1 lander site and its erosional grooves lend credence to the theory of a megatsunami origin. Imagine a massive wave originating from the impact crater sweeping across the Martian landscape, leaving behind a trail of marine sediment in its wake. This idea, while it might seem like a scene out of a science fiction movie, is a plausible explanation for the current state of the site. Moreover, the rocks and soil salts at the landing site are potentially of marine origin. This suggests that the oceanic impact and resulting megatsunami could have washed over these materials, depositing them where the Viking 1 lander would eventually touch down. So what does this mean for our understanding of Mars? Well, this new perspective invites a reconsideration of the first in situ measurements on Mars. With this fresh lens, who knows what other mysteries we might uncover about the Red Planet. The Martian surface, once thought to be a simple, barren landscape, is revealing its complex and fascinating history. Today we've delved into the evidence of an oceanic impact and megatsunami sedimentation in the Chrysi Planitia region on Mars, a narrative that was once concealed under boulder-strewn surfaces and elusive data has now come to light. 
with the identification of the Pole Impact Crater. These findings are not just a breakthrough in our understanding of the Red Planet's past, but they also pave the way for a sea of possibilities for future research. The marine origin rocks and soil salts at the Viking One lander site invite a reconsideration of the first in-situ measurements on Mars, nudging us to rethink our perception of this distant neighbor. Moreover, these discoveries underscore the importance of continuous exploration and research. They remind us that even in the seemingly barren landscapes, there lies a history waiting to be unearthed, a mystery ready to be solved. As we continue to gaze at the stars and explore the cosmos, we're constantly rewriting the cosmic narratives, one discovery at a time. Stay curious, stay informed. Subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends for more mind-blowing discoveries from the world of science.